Recently, Mike and I stopped by the Banana Factory to see what pottery throwing is all about. We're here at the Banana Factory in South Bethlehem and Ashley, we're going to try something different today. Something we've never done before. We're not sure how it's going to turn out, but it's pottery throwing. You ready, Mike? I think so. All right, let's get inside and try it. Deb, how are you? Yeah. Thank you for having us here Good today. To see My you. pleasure. We're so excited to be in the Banana Factory and in your clay studio. This is the place where we get dirty. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what happens here. Okay, we have classes, wheel throwing and hand building. And we have several instructors who also do other formation methods, which would be coiling, slab, and other techniques. Sounds pretty intricate, but it's something we think we can learn, Mike? We can teach I was anyone. Ask you, can anybody do anyone, this? Anyone. Even, even you. All right, you ready to get us started? We are ready to get started. All yeah. right, show us the way. So, Deb, we're over here with a gigantic block of clay. What do we do first? Okay, the first thing is we're going to slice off a block of clay. Basically, for beginners, I like to suggest a softball sized piece of clay. What we're going to have to do next is we need water. And what's the water for? When you're working on the wheel, the wheel is spinning, and when you place your hands on the clay, there will be a great amount of friction. So in order to facilitate making the pot on the wheel, you need to keep the clay wet and slippery at all times. All right, we're ready. Let's get the water and let's get over to the wheel. Okay, over to the sink we go. So we're so lucky we have special guests today. My daughter, Rena, and her friend, Melina, are here and they are going to try some pottery throwing with us just in case Mike and I aren't too good. We brought in some ringers. I think they're gonna make us look bad. That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you feel Pottery throwing is different from other forms of art. Other forms of art require that there is something between your hands and whatever you're doing. Working with clay, you have direct contact. Before you do anything, place your hands on the clay just to feel how it is bumpy and lumpy and your goal is to try to squeeze the clay in such a way that it gets nice and smooth. Okay, we're going to center, we're going to squeeze the clay from the side at an angle and down with the wheel spinning and we have to keep the clay wet and slippery. Once the clay is centered, we're ready for step two and we're going to use our thumbs to make an opening. So we go straight down with our thumbs. Next step is expanding the inside of the pot and so I'm squeezing at the bottom with my fingers against my outside hand. And you continue doing the stretching until you get the walls nice and even. And it's going to sound silly, but you really do have to be one with the clay. You are learning a new language. You're learning how to talk to the clay with your hands, and so you have it to listen. It does really feel like that because each new position is almost like a new word. Yes. Well, Deb, even though I didn't do so well, I had a heck of a time. It was a lot it's of fun. It's just too much fun. Me too, Deb. Well, here's my pot. This is a great Wet, pot. But look at all the steps left. So just run us through real quickly. So, How does this work? Clearly, this pot is now, hand, you can handle it, and then the bottom is not finished. So okay, so it still feels like clay, but it's It's still got dry. moisture, but somewhat dry. So this needs to be trimmed. And this is an example of a piece that's trimmed. So it's got a nice edge, and it's got a little bit of a foot goes into the kiln, it comes out looking like this. These two pieces are glazed. All right, so after the kiln, then you get to glaze or get to kind glaze of paint it. or decorate your and masterpiece. And finally. Incredible, isn't it? So much fun, Deb. I think my daughter and I are gonna come back. I think that would be great. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. It was an experience. <laughs> All right, guys, if you wanna learn more about pottery throwing, come on down to the Banana Factory at Arts Quest. Such a good time. And anyone, mostly, can do it. Hey, it's Krista. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. To see more of The Peak TV, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and catch us on WFMZ Channel 69.